Hi, and welcome to Excel Video 236. I'm Nate Moore. I was in Dallas last week helping a group pull data out of their PM system and created all kinds of views and information for them. When you're ready to do the same for your data in your PM, let's talk. We're still on the fee schedule analysis. Today I want to show you another basic trick that I think you'll find helpful. Let's assume that we're doing all this calculation, we've done all the work, we've got what we need, but you know what we really care about is this reimbursement column, let's say. You know, I need the CPT code, I need the reimbursement, what I don't need is all the calculation detail. I want to do a summary of some kind. I don't necessarily want to show all the detail. We could create formulas to move all these someplace else, but an easier way may be to highlight, let's say, columns B through E, right click, and we'll choose hide. And now, you know, I, I can just see this and my data. I've got a quick and dirty summary right here, and I'm good to go. Notice when I hide columns B, C, D, and E that my fee schedule analysis thing kind of gets cut off because it's going across columns B and maybe C, and those are hidden. So um, one solution is simply to just drag this out so it says fee schedule analysis, and that works just fine. We could always set this up um, to go across columns F and G instead. There are a bunch of different things we could do. But that works just fine for us. So now what I'm going to do is undo that, take us back to there. The question is, okay, I hid them. Now I want to go back and change the calculation. I want to go see how I got my numbers. Nate, how do you unhide? And you do the same thing. We're going to we're going to pick the cells around cells B, C, D, and E. Right click, and unhides my choice, and they're back. Simple way to hide and unhide data. I want to show you one more trick while we're talking about hide and unhide. If I hide column A, and then I come back over here and I try to unhide. I don't get A back because I'm only on one side of it and Excel doesn't get it. I can do this, and I say, whoa, whoa, whoa where's unhide? I can't, I'm not sure. How, how do I get column A back? It's lost. The trick is, let me click over here so you can see it. If I hover right here, see how my cursor changes from this to this? If I do this and drag this out, say, to something like that or like that or whatever, that's the way to get back column A if I choose to hide the first column. And if I want to do the same thing with rows, it's very simple to just do the same thing. We'll pick those. Yeah, that was great analysis. I don't need it for this printout. I'm going to hide that. Oh, wait a minute. I've got some more to hide. Now you'll see I go from row 18 to 45. That's my first hint that I've got hidden rows here. If I go from column A to F, I know I've got hidden columns. But I can always do something like this and like this and like that to get fee schedule analysis back. And now I've just got my analysis and I've hidden everything I don't need and I can always go unhide when I'm done and bring it back to where I started. That's what I wanted to show you today, how to hide and how to unhide. If you get tired of hiding and unhiding and you've got several different ways you're looking at your data and one day I'm hiding this and the next day I'm hiding that, I've got another shortcut for you. We'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching.